Hello, everybody. Um, so now we will uh, solve a few examples just to get more um, used to the steam tables and uh, to, to see how we can use them um, to solve a problem or to get some data. <coughs> so the first example here is uh, we're asked to determine the vapor pressure, specific internal energy, specific enthalpy and density of saturated steam at 133 degrees uh, Celsius. So there are a few things that we need to uh, notice before we start. First, uh, it's steam. So it means that we can use steam table. Uh, the second is it's saturated steam. So uh, saturated steam means that we are going to look into the tables of saturated steam, not the uh, superheated or subcooled steam. And uh, as we said before, for saturated steam, we need only one information. And the information that we have here is the temperature. So most probably, most probably, what we are going to look at is uh, going to be the temperature table. So before I go through the solution, I'd like to um, check the uh, information that we have in the um, table in the appendix. So this is the um, appendix B, table B5 which is the properties of saturated steam, the temperature table. I prefer to, um, to display or show the whole table <coughs> um, instead of just cropping the part of interest, just to, to go through the whole process with you. So um, if you check the table, you will see that this is the temperature uh, starting from 0.01, which is the critical temperature or the triple point temperature of water. And it keeps going, the, the temperature of interest is um, uh, is 133.5 so this is 68 uh, it's continued so there is um, some some more data in the next page so if you go to the next page it, it keeps uh, increasing from 770 up to 102 uh, and there is no continued here and if you move to the next page this is table b6 which is the next table so uh, it seems that this table is not going to be uh, the one that we can use uh, because the the temperature that we're interested in is out of the range and we cannot even do interpolation because again it's out of the range so this table is not going to be of interest of course if there if we have larger steam tables we can find uh, we can find the data uh, for for this temperature or at least we can find the temperature range that includes this this 133.5 so this table is not going to help, so we can move to the next table, um, which is the pressure table. So again, Yanni, don't, don't forget that we have both, both information in the table. The difference is what is the information that we are using to define the point. Um, so here we have the temperature, and for each temperature we have the corresponding pressure. Um, here we have the pressure, and we have here the corresponding temperature. So you still can use this table uh, to search for temperatures although it's called the pressure table um, but this is this is uh, the, the the difference here is that the temperature is not going to be increasing with a constant increment uh, the pressure is what's going to be uh, or, or will, will increase with a uniform increment uh, not the pressure not the temperature um, so uh, if we check here it starts from again the critical temperature and crit uh, I mean the triple point temperature and pressure of water it keeps increasing till 52 um, this is the next page uh, now it is 100 degrees Celsius so we are keep going uh, we will keep going um, and it keeps going until it reaches 240 no it's 300 something so it's 374 Point 0.15. So this this is a wider range table than the temperature table. So uh, we will definitely find, uh, or, or the temperature that we will have is going to be within this uh, the range of this table. So if you uh, if you go back to 133.5, this is 120. So 133.5 is there already. So we'll not need to do any interpolations. It's at three uh, pr uh, three bars. Um, this is the specific volume and uh, internal energy and enthalpy. The the uh, the problem statement stated that it's saturated steam, so it is vapor, not liquid. So <coughs> the the numbers that we are going to be uh, looking for is this uh, 0.606 is going to be 561. Point, uh, no, so I'm sorry, uh, 2543 and 2724.7. These are the three numbers that we can extract from the table. So um, this is the steam table. This is the uh, row that we are just uh, we, we have just uh, the, uh, checked uh, together um, for our temperature 133.5 pressure. Uh, of course, this pressure uh, we said this before. It's the saturation pressure, which is the vapor pressure. Uh, it's another name for the same 
uh, parameter. <coughs> the internal energy is this, and the enthalpy is this. So it's um, as simple as that. If you want to get the uh, density, this is one other thing that we are interested in, is to find the density. The density is uh, 1 over the specific volume. So we will get the specific volume and um, uh, get the reciprocal of this. So this is going to be the density in kilograms per meter cube. Um, so this is this is all what we want to uh, to find here. Uh, there is one other, th or there are a couple more, um, couple more 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 uh, options for uh, uh, finding out the the saturation pressure. One of them is applying Antoine's equation because we already know the temperature, and we can uh, find the constants in the Antoine constant table. <coughs> uh, this is the equation. This is our, these are the units. We have water. Uh, twice so one of them is from temperature range from 0 to 60 the second is from 60 to 150 so we are going to pick the second one because this is the one um, whose temperature range matches uh, our temperature or our temperature matches this temperature range so uh, it's going to be just simple substitution in the equation and um, then um, by simple calculation you can find that the saturation pressure is 2.999 bar which is almost three bars um, so uh, this is one other option giving the same result um, keep in mind that this will be in millimeter mercury so we need to be careful with the units so this is millimeter mercury this is in Celsius w there is one last option which is using the relation between uh, enthalpy and internal energy we know that H equals U plus PV uh, we know the, uh, the specific enthalpy we know the specific internal energy both from the table which are these two numbers that we got here uh, and we know the specific volume, which we also go, got from the table, and then we can substitute. You will get the um, the pressure in 299.9 kilopascal. Of course, this is kilopascal because the units of these two guys is in kilojoules per kilogram divided by meter cubes per kilogram. So it's going to be kilojoule per meter square, which is kilo uh, newton meter per meter cube, which is uh, kilopascal. Uh, so this is going to be 2.999 bar, which is the same result. So th these are different approaches, and they are all going to give the same thing for the pressure uh, specially. So this is the first example. The second example that we will check now is we want to show that the uh, that water at 370 degrees Celsius and 10 bars is superheated steam. And determine a specific volume, density, specific internal energy, and the specific enthalpy relative to liquid water at triple point. Uh, so again, uh, this is water, uh, which is uh, or which 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 uh, means that we can use steam tables. Uh, we have both temperature and pressure, and we want to see if this is saturated liquid, saturated vapor, or uh, subcooled liquid or superheated steam. We, we need to figure out the the phase. Um, and we want, we want to calculate all these uh, or, or to extract or find these these uh, parameters um, relative to liquid water at uh, the triple point um, of course relative to liquid water triple point is the uh, means that this is the uh, reference state uh, and this is the reference state for um, uh, for the the steam table so this means that we can use the steam table type so if, if we want to to find the phase of the or, or the the state of the um, of the water at these conditions, um, the the easiest option is to uh, check the saturation temperature for this pressure or the saturation pressure for this temperature. Meaning, if I uh, check the the at pressure of 10 bars, if I find the saturation temperature, I can easily uh, uh, compare the saturation temperature to this temperature. If this temperature is higher than the saturation temperature, then it's superheated steam. If it's uh, equal, then it's going to be saturated. If it's less, it's going to be subcooled. So this is what we uh, we want to do now. Um, so first, we will go to the steam table. Um, again, let's let's go to the full table because this would be easier uh, or, or better for us. We we are looking for a pressure of 10 bars. So this is the pressure table. We have here seven bars. We have up to. Um, 221.2 uh, so we have a lot of data so we are interested in 10 bars this is 10 bars and um, the second column is the saturation temperature so at temp 10 bars the saturation temperature is 179.9 
so uh, the the temperature here is 370 which is higher than the saturation temperature so this is the temperature the the the, um, the data uh, that we are interested in the uh, saturation temperature 179.9 so at 10 bars uh, the temperature is higher than the saturation temperature which is uh, which means that the liquid the the, the steam that we're looking or, or, or uh, the steam at these conditions is going to be superheated steam so this is uh, the first part of the problem the second is to determine all the information the specific volume density and the specific internal energy of course if this is superheated steam then we cannot use table b5 or b6 because they are for saturated uh, steam so we need to move to the next table which is the table of properties of superheated steam um, we said before that the data within this uh, this envelope is uh, is for subcooled liquid and anything beyond it is going to be um, a superheated steam. We're interested in 10 bars, which is this uh, this line. Um, and, and again, this is the saturation temperature, uh, which we said before, you can find it here directly without the need of going to the other tables. And we need to see a 370. So we have here data for 350 degrees Celsius. Next page is going to be the uh, rest of the data for this table so we have 10 bars and 400 so we have data for 350 and 400 we are interested in 370 so it means that we need to uh, do interpolation so um, i i just put the um, the two um, the two parts of the of the table together just to make it easy for us to see so here you can see this is 10 bars uh, which is the last line here this is uh, 350 and 400 so these are the data that we have before and after um, the the uh, temperature uh, that we are interested in so we need to do interpolation between each of these two guys um, so um, what we are going to do is um, um, what i did here is i extracted um, oops i'm sorry extracted the data from the table um, just to make it easy for me to, to deal with it this is the enthalpy at 350 this is the internal energy at 350 specific volume at 350 the same at 400 uh, celsius so now <coughs> i'm going to apply the uh, linear interpolation relation which is uh, saying that the 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 slope which is this minus this over this minus this equals the slope from the two known points and from this we can get h hat uh, we can get u hat and we can get v hat of course there's something you need to be 100% uh, sure of is that this number must be um, between these two so it has to be larger than the smaller and uh, 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 and smaller than the bigger um, so if, if it comes out to be out of the range of these two numbers we need to uh, check our numbers so this is 3201 which is uh, within the range this is 2908 which is within the range this is 0.292 which is within the range if you want to calculate the density it has to be uh, or it can be calculated as one of the specific uh, over the specific volume which is 3.425 kilograms per meter cube so this is the um, the second example the last example is an interesting one so it's not actually about the uh, calculation of uh, properties of steam but this is uh, just to find uh, the influence of both the pressure and temperature on uh, enthalpy and internal energy this is going to be very 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 important because uh, this is something we will be referring to a lot in the next chapter which is uh, how or, or which one of the two parameters has a larger effect on the um, on the uh, on the properties of steam so uh, we here uh, want to show that the internal energy and enthalpy for superheated steam depend strongly on temperature and relatively slightly on pressure which means that we, ne we need to show that the temperature has larger effect on internal energy and enthalpy uh, than the effect of pressure so what we did is or we can do is to extract data or find data from the table and uh, see how uh, how they change with the pressure and with the temperature and this is what i did here so here we have um, constant temperature so i took this at 300 degrees celsius and i changed the pressure <coughs> um, from zero or almost zero uh, up to 40 so it's 40 bars range of pressure so this is a huge increase in pressure increase in pressure so if you can think it's not increasing of one or two bars it's 40 bars 
and for each um, uh, pressure I am uh, calculating or, or, or plotting the uh, internal energy and the enthalpy um, so this is how the enthalpy and internal energy change with um, with uh, temperature you need to, to just pay attention to the, the scale so this is uh, 3075 almost and this is 2060 so the difference between these two is uh, is around 100 uh, 120 um, kilojoules per kilogram which is a very very small uh, change in, in enthalpy compared to the 3000 of course and this small change and the same here for the internal energy and this small change uh, is a result of 40 bars change in pressure so it's it's 40 times or more than 40 times the the pressure that we have in the beginning will lead to a very small um, uh, reduction in the uh, internal energy and enthalpy compared to this if we keep the pressure at 10 bars and we increase the temperature the temperature we increased it from 200 degrees celsius to uh, 500 degrees celsius so it's it's just 300 degrees uh, celsius increase in temperature uh, i'm not multiplying i'm just adding so it's it's not like 40 times as here it's just 300 temperature uh, degrees increase and if you check the difference here this is almost 2800 and increased up to 3500 so this is uh, 700 degrees uh, 700 kilojoules per kilogram this is a significant increase in the internal in the, in the enthalpy and the same for the internal energy this is um, almost 25 percent increase in the uh, in the enthalpy uh, by the increase of the temperature by uh, 300 degrees celsius we can re replot the data uh, to show them as percentages because the percentages show um, the results in a more uh, easier way to understand so this is the uh, the the change in in internal energy and and enthalpy um, this is what this is, should be percentage i'll fix this but this is percentage so this is <coughs> compared to the the the, the first point um, so you see here this is uh, zero and it increased only by less than four percent by 40 bars increase in pressure um, so it's it's almost almost uh, nothing so the, the effect is very very negligible while here you see it started uh, here uh, um, this is the the starting point the increase is uh, it's these these four percent that were achieved uh, within uh, 40 bars is achieved only by 50 degrees celsius increase in temperature um, so this is a very 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 huge difference here you need to increase the pressure 40 times here you just need to increase the temperature by 50 degrees celsius to achieve the same um, change or percentage increase in the uh, enthalpy or internal energy <coughs> um, the same here um, so at the last point you 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 see the the um, the pressure increased by uh, almost 24 percent or or something like this so the the, the take-home message of this is that the uh, pressure effect is very very negligible while the um, the temperature effect is very very uh, significant on the enthalpy and internal energy and this is what we we will be referring to uh, in the next chapter that in many cases we will neg neglect the effect of pressure we would see that the, the effect of pressure is negligible we don't need to even bother ourselves to uh, to do the calculations for this so we'll assume that pressure has no effect on enthalpy in many cases so this is <coughs> what we'll be discussing later uh, there is just one thing before we uh, we move on or, or we finish this video that there is something wrong within the data that i'm posting here uh, because this is the the absolute value of the change uh, because the, the the percentage change should be a negative percentage but i'm putting the absolute value um, so this is just for uh, for your reference so next time inshallah we will start to see how to um, apply the concepts that we have been uh, discussing and the information that we have been going through uh, in uh, real uh, problems uh, so it's not just to extract data from the table how to use them to solve energy balance problems so I'll see you then, inshallah. Goodbye.